Greetings. I left my family back in Windhelm to come here. Sharp point.
Wagen. How may I serve? She should be back on Stros Mackay, securing a new crew. I can take you there if you wish. There was a vigorous dispute between the captain and her old crew. Tumasha knows the whole story. She's below decks, if you'd like to know the details. How may I serve? It depends where you need to go. This is a working ship. We don't traverse all of Tamriel's seas. Hmm. From here, we travel to Stros Mackay. A bit tricky, but we should be able to make it before the weather changes. Or you could head into the city. Perhaps stretch your legs a bit. Try the local brew. It's up to you. Dark flowers again. It is good to see you alive and well. We found you floating in the water. I'd seen corpses with more life in them, but Captain Colleen dove in and fished you out anyway. The captain of this vessel. She's currently ashore, recruiting for our latest contract. You might want to pay your respects, seeing as she saved your life. The mutineers, some met Sithis. Others fled like the dry skin fools they are. Captain Colleen commands this ship. I honor my captain and stood by her during the mutiny. The ship is still ours, but her crew is gone. We are not alone. First Mate Lambour stood with us, as did Kassan Five Claw. Even little Nicoline wielded a dagger for Colleen. Zuth, she is lucky to be alive. Besotted, sun-blessed little fool. Captain Killeen told the crew we would no longer raid Breton Galleons. By order of King Vaharajad, Breton Galleons have much treasure. Thus the crew was displeased. Captain Killeen is ashore, looking for a crew who will not attempt to seize the ship. I would worry, but Lambour is with her. Those who trouble Kaleen when Lambour is near often get their heads twisted backward.
How may I serve? She should be back on Stros Mackay, securing a new crew. I can take... Look at that, Lambor. Our half-drowned friend is up and about. We weren't sure you'd make it. Really? I just fished you out of the water. Master Kassan got you breathing again. The important thing is you're alive. But if you're feeling grateful, I could use some help. A job? Anyone who helps is going to get rich. Right now, I need a fresh face. Someone this island's butcher in charge, Hedman Bosek, doesn't know and won't stop. Basically, you recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. Interested? The three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. He's a thief, but he's the best there is. He'd be a big help in the heist I have planned. Problem is, he robbed Bosek. Nobody robs Bosek. He's been tossed into the grave under Bosek's palace. Naramo's nice enough for an Altmer, if you get past his Dwemer fixation. Thing is, the relics he finds in Dwemer ruins sometimes come in very handy. He just might have a device we can use for our heist. She's an old friend, captain of the Maiden's Breath. She's also a master of disguise. We can use that. The Sea Drakes use their lighthouse tricks to run her ship aground near Saintsport. Rescue her, and she might join us. You won't spot her. She stays well hidden. Your best bet is to look for her monkey, Howler. They're never far apart. Find that monkey, and you'll find Larissa. Bloody Bosek, or Headman Bosek, as he calls himself now. He took over the palace years ago. Killed the Captain Helene, but she's worse than Bosek. Her sea drakes run Saint's Port south of here, biggest ban of murderers on the sea. Bosek and Helene tolerate each other. Neither's ready for a war, yet. The Screaming Mermaid's just up the road, and they've always got good rum. Just keep a grip on your coin purse, or you'll be a beggar by day's end. Bosek's thugs, the bloody fists. Cross one, you cross them all, and Bosek will have your head on a pike faster than you can say, Please, don't put my head on a pike! Also, the Sea Drakes will gut you. Deserted, the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton Galleons. Thing is, King Farharajad called for an end to it now that we're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, as a loyal Red Guard, I obeyed. Ruler of the Red Guard people, now king among equals in the Daggerfall Covenant. King Vaharajad would have us raid the ships of our enemies, not our allies. There is wisdom in that. If by disagreed you mean tried to kill us, then yes. Bunch of bloody mutineers. Lambor, myself, and a few others ran them off the ship, but word spread. No one here wants to sail with a captain who won't raid Bretons.
person. Save your breath. I'm not the chatty type. How can I help you? Double check their supplies afterwards. A fortunate tide. The last time anyone tried to crack open my vault, he died. He died because I hit him. That security you can trust. That's the Gro de Gronk promise. Sturdy, eye-catching clothes are a must for any true privateer. We tan, weave, stitch, you name it. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, the piece can be improved even more through the use of tannins. Need a weapon? These Red Guards love swords, but I sell... It's dangerous out there. Goblins, pirates, and beasts. What I've got here will keep you safe. Greetings. So much to do, so little time.
Hello. is my occupation.